the elements and everything else in between it has been a wonderful day a bit sunny with a little bit rain in the afternoon how are you guys doing it's a wonderful night coming at 11 18 pm it is saturday tomorrow is going to be sunday and i hope we get just another beautiful day tomorrow by the time this video gets out it's probably going to be really late anyway um so there's a lot to talk about, but first we're going to talk about these knockoff brand of markers that I found for 380 at Payless. Uh, 18 markers, double-ended markers, uh, fine liner and super tape, double-ended markers. What is the name of the brand? Uh, Leisure Arts. Leisure Arts is the name of the brand and it has uh, at the back 18 double-ended markers, color large areas with the super tip and detail with the fine liner tip. This is not a toy choking hazard, not intended for children under 6 years of age. Product may stain, keep away from materials that cannot be laundered. I'm not sure if I got a one And we're warning, come to a solid, avoid eye or oral contact. Um, something that I hate about it is that the barrel, it has no sort of marking on it. So you've got to guess which end is which. And, um, you're going to see it later on in the video, but I'm not in the mood to get to it. And you're going to see the color on screen. We're here to talk about a Grinch who's trying to steal Christmas. But uh, the next thing that I'll be showing on screen is the fiber tip pens uh, by Brazic. You know, I love their supplies. I'll talk about it when I get to it. But uh, first, we're going to read out this title here U.S. nurse receives nasty notes from neighbors after decorating her house with Christmas lights. Now, there's a photo of the note, and uh, there's a photo of her house. And she has just one string of light across the front of her house. And then this wreath in the middle of both windows. And that's about it. There's nothing fancy about it, nothing decorative about it. So, uh, Kim Hunt says she doesn't know who left the nasty note, which was also dropped off to several of her neighbors. A U.S. nurse was shocked and saddened after being left a note by Christmas Grinch reprimanding her for her decorations. Her ho sorry, a U.S. nurse was shocked and saddened after being left a note by a Christmas Grinch reprimanding her for decorating her home with colorful lights. Remember, I told you it was just a string of lights. Hopefully, when I'm editing, I'll put the photo up. Minnesota nurse Kim Hunt, who became on, sorry, who's been on the front line of the COVID-19 pandemic, put up a string of light on her home last weekend to brighten the streets with a little festive cheer. Well, I guess we all need a little festive cheer now, since it's been one hell of a year where it has us going back and forth. Oh, and. Sorry about that, let's take a, pa a pause here and talk about this fiber tip pen washable um, 12 in the packet for $600, Brassic, uh, I'm talking Guyana dollars by the way, and it's really nice, I love the colors, it was so bright that they green, the green was a bit dull, I added some water to it, it's water marker, so just add a little water and they work well again. Now back to what I was saying, what I was saying with uh, this time of the year, we all just need a little festivity in our hearts. We just need to be reminded of something nice. And Christmas has always been one of my favorite holidays. Now even though we don't dress up a lot, there's still a Christmas tree up with our fairy lights that's been up since last year. And it's probably never going to come down. But a Christmas tree is already up. And I'd hate it if someone says, oh, um... I can't celebrate Christmas because other people can't celebrate it. I mean, I get it. It's a tough time and uh, something that you need to do is just be happy that you're here and you're healthy and just be happy about that. Now for the nurse, um, leaving a note for her, that note was pretty mean. I'll read it. I'll get it in a few. Uh, next thing that I bought was, um, as you can see, there paintbrushes i've had them before i decided to buy them again because i'm not finding the one that i want i would like some better paintbrushes but i can't have that right now so boohoo doesn't mean i'm gonna write an angry note to anyone anyway um but one resident who obviously 
less than impressed by the display leave sorry less than impressed by the display leaving a type note in Hutt's letter box. I couldn't help but notice your Christmas lights display, the letter reads. The idea of twinkling colorful lights are a reminder of division that continues to run through our society, as a reminder of systematic biases against our neighbors who don't celebrate Christmas or who can't afford to put up lights of their own. I see why am I? Here's the actual photo of the offensive Christmas lights. Well, um, we're gonna show that photo, but let's talk about this beautiful ribbons that we have that just look so pretty. I can't wait to try something with them. Now, back to what I was saying. So I made wreaths to put out on our front door. Uh, one of them is inside because if I put it out, I'm afraid it's going to fall since it's made out of paper. It's going to get destroyed. We get rain here for Christmas, not snow. The other one's in the veranda and uh, that one's pretty easy to deal with. So... The idea of a systematic bias against our neighbors who don't celebrate Christmas. Um, we're Hindus, and I get that Christmas is more of a Christian holiday, but Guyanese, we just don't care. We celebrate all holidays. We, everyone celebrates starting with the New Year's, then we have um, Valentine's Day, then Mashumani. I'm going to forget some holidays, I'm just going to call the ones that I remember that I celebrate. Then there's Pagwa. Pagwa usually falls close to my birthday, sometime on my birthday. Um, there's Easter. Yep, I'm definitely forgetting some. And there is Diwali, Christmas. We don't celebrate Halloween, but we do have some Halloween parties and stuff like that. But Christmas is one of my favorite time of the year. Hutz told the Daily Mail she was left bewildered and sad by the note and doesn't know who the author could be. My simple light display gives me joy when I come home from work. Sorry, when I come home from working on the COVID unit at a local hospital, she says. I think it's sad we can't all appreciate diversity and celebrate the traditions of all people. Now, remember I told you, Guyana, we celebrate everything. It doesn't matter what religion it's from. Everyone celebrates it. Well... Guyana is just one big melting pot and in my previous video with the Hirban, Mali, Afropuff situation where I've mentioned that um, we all don't really own anything, it's just like a melting pot, the whole world, cultures take from cultures, blah blah blah. Uh, Christmas is, um, well, one of the meanings for Christmas would be Christ. But I think the other meaning is a time where you spend with your family or the people you love. Family doesn't always have to be people related by blood. It can be with your closest friends and basically anyone you'd consider very close to you. Also, for a nurse who's working on the COVID unit, I think she deserves a break and we should just like leave it alone. She doesn't deserve any hate for this. So uh, the nurse uh, continues to say, Hunt also said three of her neighbors received the same note, which she didn't think was a true representation of what I believe people feel right now. I have friends who aren't religious, yet they appreciate the art of Christmas lights as well, she says. Now in Guyana, we don't call them Christmas lights, we call them fairy lights, and we use them for a bunch of reasons. So even if she has a issue against Christmas, um... Fairy lights are fairy lights. They don't, you don't need a specific time to put them up as I would like to say. You can put them up all year long. They're fairy lights. I don't really, okay, sorry, the woman's continuing here. I don't really think it has anything to do with that. The I can't have it, so you can't have it, offended by everyone's mentality is so sad and especially in a year where everyone is looking for something uplifting. There is no reason to shame those who do enjoy this type of thing. So the mentality of, I, if I can't have it, you can't have it, I think that's very selfish. There's a lot of things that not everyone can have. So a photo of the letter was shared by a local crime watch, Twitter account, and Christmas fans didn't hold back in their replies. Ironic that the letter writer is doing exactly what they accused the homeowner of doing, not being accepting of others. I would redouble my lights, one person wrote. Yeah, I think this person is a 
very, very hypocritical person. I mean, she is telling someone they can't do anything because of X, Y, and Z. And she is doing X, Y, and Z. Another suggests Hunts light up her home like a football field. People of varying religious also chimed in, saying they enjoy seeing Christmas light displays even if they didn't celebrate the holiday. I'm Muslim and don't celebrate Christmas. I wish I knew this homeowner so I can help them put on more Christmas lights, one person wrote. These nut jobs do not speak for people like me and others. A uh, Hindu here absolutely love Christmas. I go crazy at this time of the year. And no surprise there, I have always loved Christmas. Now, um, the note. We're going to get to the note here. Now, before we cover the note, we've already got the COVID-19 nurse. Kim Hans decorated her home with Christmas lights in order to bring festive cheer to the community. Uh, she was bewildered when someone left her an offensive letter because uh, her displays were offensive. The anonymous right. The anonymous letter writer claims that the lights are harmful to those people who don't celebrate Christmas or cannot afford decorations of their own. And uh, what could be in this letter that is so bad? So the letter says, I couldn't help but notice your Christmas light display. During these unprecedented times, we have all experienced changes which cause words just, sorry, which casual words just don't describe that what we're feeling. The idea of twinkling colorful lights are a reminder of division that continues to run through our society, a reminder of systematic bias against our neighbors who don't celebrate Christmas or who can't afford to put lights up of their own. We must do the work of educating ourselves about the harmful impact an outward facing this place like yours can have. I challenge you to respect the dignity of all people while striving to learn from differences, ideas, and opinions of our neighbors. We must come together collectively and challenge these institutional inquiries. Uh, St. Anthony is a community welcoming of all people, and we must demand better for ourselves. To be honest, I think a Karen wrote this. Like, only a Karen can do something like that. If they want to know who who's done this, they should look for the Karen. One Arizona woman said she put up extra lights on her home after hearing the note. The letter did make me somewhat upset because it's not true. It's not a true representation of what I believe people feel right now. I grew up without a lot of money, yet one of our family tradition was to go out on Christmas Eve after mass and look at other people's Christmas lights. I have friends who aren't religious, yet they appreciate the art of Christmas lights as well, the woman stated. I don't really think it has anything to do with that. The I can't have it, so you can't have it offense by everything mentality is so sad and especially in a year where everyone is looking for something uplifting there's no reason to shame those who enjoy this type of thing now as i've mentioned diwali i was supposed to do a video on it but i didn't diwali season you have people lighting these now i couldn't afford to light these this year which is really sad it's one of my favorite holidays actually i think i favor diwali more than Christmas. it's hard those two are competing but then pago is close to my birthday so three holidays competing and I didn't get to light this year. I was a bit sad, but then I decided to walk around and look at other people who lit up their surrounding areas. I used to make this thing Rangoli out of colored rice. I couldn't make it this year, but I still appreciated the images, uh, the pictures of those who made it. I just loved to look at them. They were really sweet and I wasn't angry about it or anything like that. There are different views you can look at stuff with. You don't need to be angry all the time and just think, oh, because I can't afford this, I can't afford that, someone else can't have this, someone else can't have that. I think this person was just really mean. Or they just, they just get off on making other people's life miserable. Anyway, uh, before this video comes to an end, I would just like to remind you guys that you should always strive to be the best version of yourself that you can possibly be possibly be sorry i'm rushing through this i'm sleepy it's 11 33 i should not have made this video so late in the night i've made so so many mistakes i'm very sorry bear with me here just bear with me here um i'm a sucky youtuber anyway um christmas we're not putting up that many lights i've never had a christmas tree while growing up it has only been last year was the first year i've hadn't 
I've actually decorated a Christmas tree. I've had a Christmas tree in my house and actually had fairy lights in my house. When we were little, there was this one that we put out outside by the first place we used to live at, but we stopped. Um, so I've been really, really happy that I've got a Christmas tree for the first, well, this is the second time, second year I've got a Christmas tree up. And like I said, I'm really, really happy, especially for the fairy lights. Those are two amazing things. But I was never angry or mad at the people who had them, who put them up. I was just really, really happy to see the displays. And another thing in Guyana, we do not call them Christmas lights. We call them fairy lights. And I love them so much. They're twinkling little lights. But I love the one color one. I love the blue and the white and the yellow those are my three favorite colors in the lights but i also love that like purplish whitish color that's also really cute you know what i love all the colors i love rainbows so we are going to close this video off with a lot of people decide to put up more fairy lights decorating their homes which i think is wonderful and uh, a GoFundMe has also been Oh, and just set a quick side note, always remember to be the best version of, self, of yourself that you can While be. Is a and local be kind to others, to come smile and a little bit more, even though you have to wear a mask and people will see the smile. You'll just feel happy when you smile, try to do it more often, and be happy that you are alive and doing amazing. Goodbye. You can't display in... Sorry, despite the letter writer. Anyway, goodbye. Ah, yeah. Goodbye, take care, that's the end of this video.